are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, black and white sports fans, we're going to be talking about former ESPN Sports Center host Sage Steele here in this video. Now, back in 2021, when Beijing Biden started occupying the Oval Office, Sage Steele of ESPN actually had an interview with Joe Biden. Now, we know that Joe Biden doesn't do too many interviews now, of course. I mean, this man has really, really lost his mind. This same guy that actually um, shakes hands with air, uh, sniffs girls, uh, fumbles his words all the time. He doesn't know where he is. And a lot of people do believe, man, that he is not really running the country. He is just an empty suit. He is being controlled by, more than likely, Obama people. Obama may be the shadow president actually running his country. A lot of people believe that, man. But Sage Steele had an interview with Joe Biden on ESPN. And guess what, guys? The whole thing was fake. I'm going to repeat that again. This was not a real interview. Sage Steele didn't come up the questions. Sage Steele was reading off a script. This is coming directly from Sage Steele. Now, they probably did that to actually protect Joe Biden. Because when uh, Joe Biden goes off script, boy, he really, really puts his foot in his mouth. Joe Biden was old and demented back in 2020. And the media did everything to protect him. Even ESPN. How pathetic is that, man, that they would actually give Sage Steele a script? And they told her, you will read this word for word. Dot the I's, cross T's, all that kind of stuff. Because they had to prepare Joe Biden because this man can't comprehend anything. Joe Biden is truly demented, guys. And they're going to push this man out there again. He is what? Going to be 82 years old. If he actually does remain in the White House, guys. This man is going to be 82. And his uh, second term would actually end at 86. Now, I don't think he's going to win. I think that Trump is coming back. But it's really, really scary, guys, that um, this man is in the Oval Office right now. And he doesn't even know where he is. That is really, really sad, guys. But um, let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday. Just starts at five dollars per month. We appreciate the support. So here we go. Look at this here. Say still says every single question of a Joe Biden interview on ESPN was scripted by network Zets. And I'm pretty sure the higher ups, the left wing people over there at ESPN were working hand in hand with the White House to actually make Joe Biden look better than what he was. Say still was reading from a script. This is straight out of Hollywood, guys. So. Says here, former ESPN host Say still has shared that a 2021 interview with Beijing Biden on the four letter network was entirely scripted by network executives. ESPN controlling every aspect of the interview with Biden as still alludes to is incredibly on brand for the network. But the details she shared about the entire experience are still head turning. The pre tape interview, because of course it can be live, guys. This interview could not be live. He would really mess it up then. Uh, took place in uh, March 2021 when many sports leads were trying to return to normalcy. During the pandemic, while many athletes and fans were pushing back against vaccine mandates. The discussion also took place shortly before the MLB All-Star Game was moved out of Atlanta. A decision Biden supported amid boycotts of the passing of Georgia's election reform law. Now, you know what's funny, guys? Right now, Georgia actually passed that. And uh, Brian Kemp one in a landslide in Georgia. And also right now, Trump is leading in the polls in Georgia. Now that they've actually tightened up election integrity. Funny how that works, right? 
But anyway, the sports world wasn't exactly in the uh, greatest um, of spots. Therefore, Biden sat down with ESPN, made headlines, but it still told Fox News Digital every word of the conversation was scripted. Let's go ahead and watch this clip right here, guys. Let's roll it. That for a wonderful day I'm in sports, opening day for America's national pastime. This is about two months after he took office. Um, that was an interesting experience in its own right because it was so structured and I was told, you will say every word that we write out. You will not deviate from the script and go to the word. Like every single question was scripted, gone over dozens of times by many executives, editors and executives. Absolutely. I was on script and was told not to deviate. It was very much, this is what you will ask. This is how you will say it. Um, no follow-ups. No follow-ups. Next. I knew that this was a lot bigger than just the wonderful editors that I worked with. This went up to the fourth floor, as we said, <laughs> that we're all the, the bosses, the top executives, the decision makers are the president we're, of our company, the CEO, where, where they all worked. Uh, the big picture to me is that I think it's heartbreaking. I think it's really heartbreaking that the people who love Joe Biden and say they truly care about him have allowed it to get to this point. So I'm not even looking at this from a political angle or my beliefs in anything. This is the human side of it. And when someone is struggling, um, we allow them to continue to be in the spotlight and put them out there in the first place when they knew there were issues. Of course, they had to know. So it's, it, it's, a, it's a humanity thing with me where I don't care where anyone stands and what they vote in for or who they believe in. Do you really care about that person as a father, as a husband, as a everything? Wow. So they have it, guys. There you have it. The pre-recorded interview with Joe Biden man was scripted. And I'm pretty sure they did a lot of editing on that. Man, it, it's absolutely pathetic, man. The lens that the media will go to protect Joe Biden. It really is pathetic, man. ESPN, who's supposed to be the worldwide leader in sports, stages a fake interview with Biden. And say still, who we know is not a fan of Joe Biden, man. She's on the right. She's a conservative. She went out there, did her job, read everything line for line. Joe Biden knew what was coming. He knew it. Because if this was a real interview, he would struggle bit time. See, that's why Trump actually does these um, interviews live. He'll, he'll sit down with the left all the time. He doesn't mind talking to him. They can say what they want to say about him. He doesn't really care. He'll answer the questions. But Joe Biden, he can't do it, man. He cannot do it. And a lot of people, you know, the media, bit tech, they were protecting all that man in uh, 2020. That's why I believe, guys. This year, if Joe Biden is actually the uh, Democrat nominee, there is not going to be any debates. I'm willing to bet that there will be no debates with Donald Trump at all because Joe Biden just can't do it, man. He cannot do it. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.